Good morning, Pigeon World and YouTube. This is Greg from GBJ Lops. Okay, we're here at our 10 mile toss. This is the area. This is the area of 1792. Yeah, the birds. And they need to go that way. We'll let them sit for 15. Okay, so we're ready to rock and roll here. You guys ready, right? Okay. trees that we circling they're out of here and so am I oh there they go they decided to go higher I don't know where they're going, but they're going. Okay, they're turning. I don't know if you can see them. I can barely see them with my naked eye. They're gone. Okay, we're home. But the birds are not. Doesn't mean they didn't get here. But I haven't seen them. And it's a little bit past the hour. So they either flying longer or they took the scenic route. We'll see. Okay, feeding my other birds right now. Um, Still waiting for my flyers. I let them go at 9.15. It's almost 11.15 now. So they're two hours out. They should have been here a long time already. We'll see. Well, well, guess who's home? And it only took them two hours. <laughs> oh. They're obviously going back out to that same spot again. Let me get them in. They went straight for the water. Okay, they're all in. Well, these, they should be all in. Looks kind of skimpy to me, but I'll count them after they eat. Okay, so I counted them. After they finish eating, I'm short one. And that would explain why they took so long to get home. Most likely they got hit by a hawk and that scatters them. Uh, we'll see, but right now we're short one. Also means that I will have to take them back to the 10 mile spot and let them go again. So they could do it again. In the meantime, this is Greg from GBJ Lofts. Remember, guys, keep them flying. Till next time.